Microsoft Word is a very powerful word processing application. And a lot of times what happens is that we get confused with it uh, if we have to make a document. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a full document uh, with table of contents and page number from scratch till the end. So over here, you can see that I got Microsoft Word. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click and open up the application right here. So now you can see that this is the home page. And what I want to do is I want to create content from scratch. So I'm going to go around onto the blank document right here and click on it. So once I do that, you can see that I have a blank document. And now what I want to do is I want to uh, create, let's say, for example, different chapters. And then I want to work around with page numbers. I want to have a title page and so forth, even table of contents and so forth right here uh, so that my document looks managed. So I do not actually have a content. So I'm just going to go around and type in, in some data right here. So I'm going to say something like this is a paragraph just like this. And I'm simply going to copy and paste this around right here. Let me just press Control Z a few times because I didn't copy that correctly. So I'm just going to copy this part out right here, maybe right here, press full stop, and then just paste this out just like this. So you can see that I got a bunch of data right here. So now I'm just going to justify this so that it balances itself out right here. So similarly, I might have a lot of data just like this. So you might have multiple pages of data right here. Let me just arrange this out right here. And there you go. So there's multiple pages of data right there. So now what I need to do is I need to add in title. Let's say, for example, I want the title to be here as, let's say, for example, introduction, just like this. And I just don't want to pull this out and leave this. I want to assign it a heading. So I'm going to go around and properly assign a heading to this one. And I want to do that because uh, I want to auto generate table of contents later on because that will really help me out. So there you go. I got the introduction right here. And similarly, I got some content right here as well. So now similarly, I'm going to go around and generate some more content right here. So on the top, let's say another heading should be here as well. So I'm just going to go around and this is going to be another heading. So this is going to be the main findings, let's say, for example. So this is going to be another heading right here. And what I want to do is I want this to be another chapter. So what I can do uh, to make sure of it is press control on my keyboard and press enter. So now what happens is that this section is divided from this one. So this um, really helps to actually um, avoid confusions later on. So I'm just going to go around right here and paste out more content. So uh, before I go on to the next chapter, I'm going to press control enter right here and press control V right here. So that's the main content. And let's say this is going to be the solution right here. So solution just like this. And I'm going to go around press heading one again. So another heading is assigned over here as well. So what this allows me to do is it allows me to track out the heading right here. I can minimize the headings out as well if I want to right here. So you can see that I already got a um, bunch of controls. So I'm just going to go around and paste some more data right here. Let this be a uh, be page right here. And after this, I'm going to go around, press control enter. And let's say this is going to be the conclusion right here. I'm going to select this. And I'm going to choose heading one for this one as well. For conclusion, maybe I won't have much of the content, maybe just a bit right here. So there you go. I got a bunch of documents uh, data right here, just like this. So now what you can do is you can add in some maybe uh, uh, heading twos right here as well. So this is the introduction, as you can see right there. Uh, but what I don't want is like I want the, uh, let's say, sub headings right there. So introduction, let's say uh, I'm, I'm going to say beginning right here. So I'm going to right click and then just uh, correct the spelling. So this is going to be the heading two right here and maybe a heading three over here, maybe, maybe a heading two. So beginning, maybe middle right here. And then I'm just going to go around right here. This is going to be another heading two right here. And this is going to be the end right here. And then another heading two. So that's for the introduction and main finding. And let's say, for example, the first finding, maybe I'm just going to say first finding right here, just like this first finding. So you can add in any data as per what you like. So I'm just going to go around and type um, like select in heading two over there. And this is going to be another finding over here. So another finding. 
and there you go select this out this is going to be heading two so there are going to be some sub findings over here so sub findings let's say for example and then i'm going to go around and select heading three for this one and i'm going to go around right here sub findings right here sub findings uh another sub finding right here so i'm just going to say another and then I'm going to, let's say, correct this up, select this, and I'm going to select heading three over here. You can go all the way for heading four and even add more headings if you want to. So I'm just going to go around on the solution. I'm going to say grand solution right here as well, just like this. And I'm going to correct this out and select this. And this is going to be heading two over here. So just like this, and I'm going to say another grand solution. And then I'm going to go around right here. So. I can repeat this as much as I want to. I can create subheadings, but you have to be uh, sure to select the heading one, heading two, heading three, and so forth according to how you like it. So similarly, I'm going to go around for the conclusion. I may not want anything. And there you go. I got my basic document ready right here. So what I want to do is I want to uh, insert out a heading page as well, maybe a table of contents. So in order to do that, I need to insert page numbers as well. So let us just work around with the page numbers now. So on the bottom, I'm going to double click uh, until I have access to footer. So I can go around onto the footer right here and you can see that there's various options that I can choose from. I'm just going to go around and select something like fancy like this one. So let me select and there you go. You can also add in a date over here as you can see right there, but I'm not going to add in a date. So I'm just going to go around and then delete this out right here. No date right here. You still got the date right there. So I'm just going to go around and delete that. I just want the page number there. So this is the page number as you can see, and maybe I want to add in a heading as well. So I'm just going to go around and say example document 101, just like this. And this is going to be, let's say, for example, yeah, left a line. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to go around and maybe italicize this out right here to make it a bit more fancy, just like this. So there you go. You got the page number right here and so forth. You can go around and then work around with the page number according to how you like it. So let's say I want this to be a center line right here. And maybe I want this uh, font to be uh, Arial, just like this. So I want much more of a different look for this one right here. And there you go. There's the page number over there in all of the pages. And our document is looking much more beautiful than before. So now what I want to do is I want to insert a cover page as well. So over here in the introduction, I want to add in a bit of breaks. So I'm going to go around on to the beginning and I'm going to press control enter on my keyboard. So you can see that it goes on to the next page. And now over here in the beginning, I may want to insert a cover page. So I'm going to go to insert and there you go. Cover page is an option and you can simply choose a design that you want. So I'm just going to go around and let's say choose uh, uh, this cover page right here. And there you go. There's the cover page and you can type in anything you want. So I'm just going to go around and say something like example document right here, example document. And this is going to be to the tube right here. And there you go. You can go around and then change around the author or delete it or whatsoever, just like this. So once you add in the cover page, what happens is that you do not see the page number in the beginning anymore. And that is because cover page is in a different format. So you can double click over here. It recognizes it as a cover page, as you can see right there. So if you were to disable the different first page right here, then you will see it out, but you don't see anything because a shape is covering it up right here. Uh, but if I were to go around over here, uh, let me just double click on the footer. If I were to check on different cover pages, you don't see uh, the page number anymore, as you can see. Let me just press Control Z uh, two times right here because I do not want any of those changes right here. So now let's say on this section right here, you can see that page number one is here. But let's say I don't want the page number one to get started from here, but I want the page number one to get started from here, right? Now, just like this. Let me just press uh, backspace right here to bring the introduction on the beginning. Let me just go and press header right here. So what I want to do is I want to insert a page break right here so that I can remove out the page number one from this side. So I'm going to go around onto the introduction and I'm going to go around over here, uh, not in the inset, but um, over here on the layout. Here you can see that something uh, called break. I can go around onto break and I'm going to say next page right here, just like this. So once I do that, what happens is that a page break will be inserted right here. 
and to see how the pace break actually works. Seems like it didn't work, so I'm just going to go around into the outline right here. So I'm just going to go around, uh, let's see, on the uh, layout right here, not on the layout, or I'm just going to go to view right here on the outline view where I can see the pace break. Seems like there is a pace break right here on the beginning, and if you want to remove it, simply click and delete it out. The pace break won't be there anymore. So there you go, there's the pace break. So I want to add in a pace break over here. Uh, so you gotta be very, very careful with this one. Let me just press control enter. So here I'm going to press, uh, let's say go, I'm going to go around into layout, into break and next pace right here. So now the pace break should uh, be inserted right here. So you can see that there's pace number zero. Uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and once you insert, the pace break you got this thing called same as previous right here so this is uh, section two and this is uh, section two seems like the pace break did not work out so let me just go around right here i'm going to go to insert over here again i'm going to go to a layout break and then i'm going to go to a section break pace break right here so now it should work so if i were to double click this out, you can see that this is section three, this is section two right here. So now I'm just going to go around, press delete right here, uh, and let me just bring this up right here. This is still section three, as you can see, and now what happens is that I got three sections. I'm just going to change that to heading one over here again. There you go. So this is section one, this is section two, and this is section three. This is what we wanted. If I were to go to view right here and go to outline, now you can see that there's two section break, one after uh, the title page and one after uh, this one right here. So I'm going to go around uh, onto uh, out from the outline file right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and insert table of content right here. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to go to insert and over here there's the cover page, but what I want is references, table of content. Let me click here and there you go. There's the table of content right here. You got the page number auto generated as well, just like this. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go around and change the page number. So let's say I don't want any page number here. I just want it from here so I can go around. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around over here, double click this. And this is not going to be linked to previous. I do not want the page number to repeat uh, over th from there. So I'm just going to go around right here remove the link to previous. Now, whatever changes I make here, it won't be reflected over here. So uh, this is a, a thing that many of new word uh, users get confused about. So I'm just going to go around and delete this right here. So let me just delete this, uh, delete this out. And there you go, delete this out as well. And this is what I have. You can see that now uh, the page number is not changed out. So the, the, this is what I have, I got the page number, but here I want the page number to start from one, not from zero. So I'm going to go to page number, and then I'm going to go to format page number, and over here it says start at zero, but I want it to start as one. So I'm just going to say start as one right here. You can also change that around into different formats, as you can see, and press OK, and this is what you have right here. So I'm just going to go around and maybe uh, decrease the font size of the page number, so this actually looks a bit balanced. So there you go, you got page number one, but you don't have anything over here. So you can work around with this however you like. You, you want the header to be displayed or not, that's up to you again. Uh, so right now, if I were to delete this, what happens is that it gets deleted out. Let me just press Control Z. But if I were to go around over here and let's say, for example, disable the link to previous. And then if I were to go around onto the top and then delete this, what happens is that that is gone as well. And this is what you have right here. So now you can see that I got the heading and everything, but if you want to change out the heading format and so forth, you can do that as well. So let's say I want the format to be like this. So I can go around right here and I'm going to add in this format right here where I got a number. So uh, if I want to up, uh, like update out the other heading, I can simply select this right here. I can right click over here and update heading one to match selection. So once I do that, what happens is that it gets updated out. So you can see that this is the content right here. I, I don't actually want this. So I'm just going to go around and change the format of this into, uh, let's say for example, something else like a title maybe right here. So I don't, just don't want this to be heading one right here. And I'm going to go around and then let's say, I'm going to update this around right here. So I'm just going to go around right here and then 
uh, update uh, to match and then there you go so you, you you're not getting this to actually distract you right there so i'm just going to press ctrl z right here i'm not just going to leave this as it is so you got one right here i can do the same over here as well so i'm just going to go around right here and then i'm going to choose this one just like this and there you go you, you can see that out you can go around over here and then choose different formats as you can see right there as well so i'm just going to go around over here and then you can go around with different headings as you can see right there and that is how it uh, gets affected so you can see that that is how you have it so you got heading two right here and so forth as you can see so there you go you got all of these things right here and you want to change maybe the format right here maybe you want it bold right here and maybe you want a background color as well so let's say for example you want it to be black right here and maybe you want uh, the text color to be white so you can simply select that out right here select this and then you can select out white right here and you can simply select it and just like before right click update heading one to match selection and just like that you got all the headings messed out just like that let's do the same with the subheadings as well so i'm just going to go around and then i'm going to let's say choose a darker color right here just like that maybe uh, a darker color but not very dark and let's say i'm going to choose white right here i'm going to bold it out and update heading 2 to match and there you go the heading 2 is messed out as well just like that and similarly you can go around with the heading 3 and do the same thing so let me just go around over here under heading 3 so where is heading 3 over here do i have a heading 3 so uh if i were to go around so there's the heading 1 right here and then there you go there's supposed to be like another thing right here like there's after the main finding sub finding and then there you go on the page number 4 you can see that there's the first finding right here just like this you got another finding over here as well so just like this you got yeah there you go sub finding and here i want let's say uh i want uh another color over here maybe i want it to be this color i want it bold right here and then i'm going to add in and right click and update heading to match and there you go so you can see that you can easily format out the document just like that so I'm going to go around and work around with the table of content here again. So delete out the table of content. I'm going to go to references, table of content, and maybe I'm going to go with a different one right here. And there you go. There's a table of content right here. I just don't want this to be the heading anymore. I'm just going to delete it. And there you go. Everything is automatically arranged as you can see. So update, uh, update the entire table right here. And there you go. There's one introduction right here with the page numbers all displayed out and that is how it actually looks and this is how uh, you can see that a document is formatted out so you can go around if i were to uh, like uh, press control and then use the scroll mouse button you can see that the document format is now changed out you can see that this is how it actually looks and you can uh, further work around with it however you like so you can go around over here you can go around onto uh, different things like design and so forth and you can choose the design that you want and then they get they get applied as well so you can just choose around different design according to how you like and having the, these things like uh, pre-built and so forth that's much more helpful i'm just going to press ctrl z right here to go back onto the default setting right here because i i did quite a bit of a work right there just like that and that is how you can work around with a document from start to finish uh, by using the page number, by using, by working, working around with the table of content, by working around with spacing, by working around with cover page and so forth, by using page breaks and everything to manage a document according to how you like it uh, inside of Microsoft Word. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.